Shmoliki. Who is that? From Israel. He's going one e four. Just gonna, just gonna see if uh, the users of Chess Twenty Four have uh, prepared something special against uh, the Norwegian rap this time. He's going e five. Good stuff. Go for the throat. Do it. Yeah. He's going for blood. I like it. This is basically the whole point of the system, by the way, that you don't actually need to protect H5. You just ignore it and hope for, for some active play. Mm. Yeah, I don't really know what the theory is here. Um, let me try and think that. I want to go knight f4. I'm worried about knight b5 though. Knight g2, king f1. So if I go knight f6, how is that with regards to temp? to Tempe, so usually it's knight c3 in the Scandinavian, queen d6, d4, knight f6, bishop e2, g6. That's, an, that's a transposition, no? Knight c3, queen d6, d4, knight f6, bishop e2, g6. Yeah, okay, I don't know if knight f6 is good, it's just too funny not to play. Yeah, so now, now we're back in a uh, queen d6 Scandinavian instead, funnily enough. Yeah, depends on your taste. Some might not think that is funny at all, but I do. Or interesting, anyway. c6 may also have gone a6, but you can only make one move at a time. So I'm just going to play very solidly here. Bishop g4, chop on f3, knight d7, e6. Solid, solid. How I'm going to win the game, that's that's a different question. So he's going for a plan with bishop g3. The thing about this queen d6 system is that you always have the square on, on, uh, on b4, so getting, getting chased from... Uh, I think I just lost my webcam. A portable webcam. How stupid is that? Okay, here we go. Should be noted that if he, if he'd gone, uh, if he'd gone, uh, sorry. Uh, if he'd gone uh, a3 instead, I couldn't have taken on, on b2 because of, um, and I still cannot take there, but I can go up there. Queen a5 back. I hope that's mine as a camera. He has gone bishop c4? Why is it allowing me to take on f3? That seems very strange. Usually I give up that bishop without getting any sort of um, structural advantage from it. And so now he's just got a weakness on f3. So now instead of him being slightly better, I think I'm slightly better instead. And my position is very easy to play. And I just got no, no weaknesses whatsoever. So that seems like a very puzzling decision. From uh, from my opponents, I may go queen h five. I'm just gonna take ninety four. I think he's gotta go rook e four. Fe drops a pawn to knight b six. Might not be the worst pawn to lose. To be fair, 
he, he's going to get some compensation in that case. But recommending it would be a massive stretch. I think I may be in time with some some tactics here since his work on D two is undefended. Yeah, I think he may have missed that. I can just take on D four. And we're going to get opposite color bishops probably, but that is very unlikely to help him. I got a healthy extra pawn and, and a bit of a positional advantage as well. Bishop e5 was a bit was a bit dumb, but now preparing rook c5, going for our, for uh, that pawn on uh, on h3. And once his rook is, is passive, I may, uh, I may start working the king off the board. Yeah. Don't think he's going to be able to defend uh, f4. And if we're trading, if we're trading d4 for for f4, I'm pretty happy. Having said that, maybe I'm even happier with taking b2 than hopefully getting back to to eating uh, uh, to eating yeah, f4 later. Yeah, so this is going to be a fairly simple mop-up job, I think. Rook f3, then king h5 is coming. She shouldn't have resigned though. He had bishop c4, king h4, bishop f1. And uh, he's still fighting. So I think the, his position is lost, but the resignation was a little bit premature.